Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and today we're going to take a look at an antenna that was sent to me from people who take care of any tone in the United States, and it is Bridgecom Systems in Missouri. This is the model TX0048, and it's supposed to cover 144, 222, and 430 megahertz. Let's find out if it does. Now, it does not come with this base. I picked up an auxiliary base. This is one big magnet. The best place to put it is where we can get it kind of in the center. Over there, and we'll keep it up, and there it is. Yes, it is a steel roof. I find that uh, just bringing it in through the door is fine. And there we go. And now let's go inside the car and check it out on the Nano VNA and see what kind of matching we have for this thing here. Okay, this is the Nano VNA. We're going to operate it on its own battery power here. Now I've got a little key card here that reminds me how to get the thing to do SWR. Normally I do this on the uh, computer and I don't need to do this uh, kind of cheat coded sort of thing. But it's display and then format and then SWR. Then we start over again and go back to stimulus. Now we're going to start this first check. We're going to start with 36 megahertz. Stop at 149 megahertz. Okay. Now this should give us the SWR from 136 megahertz to 149 megahertz. It's got a 1.7 there and a 2.0 there. Okay, that's not too bad. The radio should be able to handle that. There's no tuner in UHF, VHF radios. They're, you're just straight into the antenna. And antennas are notorious for not being that good at things. Okay, let's check it on 220. So here we're going to do the start. 2, 2, 1 megahertz. And the stop at 2 to 5 megahertz. It says over here at, at 1 that it's 1.35, so it's under 2. Now let's check it on 70 centimeters. So the start at 4.20 megahertz and stop 4.50 megahertz. There it is. We see the SWR. Now we note that at, this is the top of the band here. There's a part of the band here where it's almost two to one SWR. It's real hard to see the markers in there, but they're there. And down here it's under two to one. It's a little over two to one, but it should do fine. So what we have learned from this is that this antenna from Bridgecom Systems, the tri-band antenna, it will work on 222 because the radio they sell also does that. Now, one thing I want to point out about this antenna that's up there, it will not bend back if it hits something. So if you like going to a parking garage and forget you've got the antenna and it whacks something, it will cause it to break. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. And I would say offhand that this antenna passes any kind of test that I can do on it in here. There's no 220 repeaters that I know of in the area, and that would be what I would test against. But I will tell you that the SWR seems good on it, and there you have it. So until we next meet, 73.